Exploring the Fascinating World of Mark Twain Born in the small town of Florida, Missouri, Samuel Langhorne Clemens entered the world in 1835. His early years in Missouri would later provide the backdrop for some of his most famous works. Clemens, who would later be known by his pen name Mark Twain, grew up alongside the Mississippi River, a setting that would profoundly influence his writing and characters. The name of Mark Twain wasn't just a random pseudonym but was deeply rooted in his past as a riverboat pilot on the Mississippi. This term, used in river navigation to measure two fathoms, or 12 feet, indicating safe water, was symbolic of his literary career, navigating through the depths of American society and culture. Before Twain found his calling as a writer, he dabbled in various professions. Starting as a printer's apprentice, he then experienced life as a riverboat pilot, a role that provided him with a wealth of experiences and insights into human nature and the complexities of life on the Mississippi. His stint as a miner during the Gold Rush era further broadened his horizons and enriched his narratives. Twain's adventures on the Mississippi River weren't just a job, they were the inspiration for much of his later work. The river was more than a body of water for Twain, it was a living, breathing character in his stories. His intimate knowledge of the river and the life that thrummed along its banks became the backbone of his most beloved novels. His first significant literary success, The Celebrated Jumping Frog of Calaveras County, was published in 1865. This short story, which humorously chronicles a frog jumping contest in a small Californian town, was a hit and laid the groundwork for Twain's reputation as a master storyteller, capable of capturing the imagination of the American public with his wit and keen observation. Mark Twain's storytelling prowess is perhaps best showcased in The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, a novel that captures the essence of youthful adventure and the complexities of growing up along the Mississippi River. This 1876 masterpiece is a vivid portrayal of boyhood, painted with the nostalgic brush of Twain's own memories. Following a Tom Sawyer, Twain penned Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, a work that further cements his reputation as a literary giant. Published in 1885, this novel delves deeper into the moral and societal issues of the American South through the eyes of its young protagonist, Huck Finn. Twain's ability to weave humor with serious themes of freedom and racism is unparalleled. Twain's knack for satire was not just a talent, but a tool he wielded with precision to critique societal norms and injustices. His satirical edge was razor-sharp, often wrapped in humor to soften the blow. Through his works, Twain held up a mirror to society, exposing its follies and vices with a smirk. An outspoken critic of imperialism, Twain used his voice and platform to challenge the expansionist policies of his time. His skepticism of imperial motives and concern for the oppressed underscored much of his late writing, showcasing his deep engagement with the political issues of his day. Twain's friendship with Nikola Tesla, the famed inventor, underscores his fascination with science and innovation. This relationship highlighted Twain's belief in progress and his support for technological advancements. Additionally, Twain's own venture into inventing, such as his patent for a self-pasting scrapbook, reveals his creative and entrepreneurial spirit, even if not all his investments bore fruit. Mark Twain's love for cats was well known, often surrounding himself with these feline companions. He gave them whimsical names, reflecting his playful nature and creativity. His affection for cats added a personal, endearing layer to his public persona, showing a softer side to the famed satirist. Twain's life was intertwined with the cosmos in a remarkable way. Born just after Halley's Comet made its appearance in 1835, he famously predicted his death would coincide with the comet's return. True to his word, Twain passed away one day after the comet returned in 1910, cementing his legacy in the annals of history with a celestial twist. Travel played a significant role in Twain's life and work. His extensive journeys were not just escapades, but fuel for his writing. The Innocence Abroad is a notable example, showcasing his keen observations and wit. Through his travels, Twain brought the world to his readers, enriching American literature with international perspectives. Despite his acclaim, Twain faced financial ruin due to poor investment decisions. This period of his life highlighted his resilience and ability to face adversity. The financial hardships he encountered, including bankruptcy, were public and humbling for a man of his stature, yet they didn't diminish his creative spirit. 
In an effort to overcome his financial troubles, Twain embarked on a world lecture tour in 1895. This tour was not only a testament to his determination to pay off his debts, but also served as a platform for him to connect with his global audience. His successful repayment of debts showcased his integrity and commitment to his principles. Mark Twain's literary achievements were recognized by prestigious institutions, including Yale University, the University of Missouri, and Oxford University, all of which awarded him honorary degrees. These accolades underscored not just his contributions to literary arts but also his impact on American culture and education, affirming his status as a literary icon. His innovative use of vernacular speech in his writings marked a departure from the formal, often inaccessible literary style of his time, making literature more reflective of American life and society. This approach not only revolutionized American literature but also made it more accessible to a wider audience, contributing significantly to its evolution. Twain's humorous exploration of the complexities of learning German in the awful German language is a testament to his wit and ability to engage with cultural nuances. Through this essay, he shared his linguistic struggles, connecting with readers who have faced their own challenges in learning a new language. As a Freemason, joining the Polar Star Lodge No. 79 in St. Louis, Twain was part of a brotherhood that valued moral and ethical principles. This membership reflected his commitment to community and principles, aligning with the ethical underpinnings evident in his writings and public statements. Through characters like those in Puddenhead Wilson, Twain critiqued racial injustice, using satire and storytelling to highlight the absurdities and cruelties of racial discrimination. His ability to weave social commentary into his narratives not only entertained, but also provoked thought and discussion on important societal issues. Mark Twain's friendship with Helen Keller was a testament to his admiration for resilience and intelligence. He marveled at Keller's ability to overcome the challenges of being deaf and blind, seeing in her a kindred spirit of perseverance. This bond highlighted Twain's deep respect for overcoming adversity. Twain's prolific writing career spanned essays, travelogues, short stories, novels, and a memoir, showcasing his versatile talent. His ability to weave humor, satire, and critical social commentary into various literary forms has cemented his place as a cornerstone of American literature. Each genre he explored benefited from his unique voice. The Mysterious Stranger, published posthumously, delves into existential themes, marking a departure from Twain's earlier works. This final piece reflects his enduring fascination with the human condition and the mysteries of existence. It's a bold exploration of philosophical questions that continue to intrigue readers today. Twain's technological savvy was evident when he became one of the first authors to submit a typewritten manuscript to a publisher. This move not only showcased his openness to new technologies, but also his desire to embrace progress and innovation in all aspects of his life and work. The home in Hartford, Connecticut, where Twain penned many of his celebrated works, is now a museum dedicated to his legacy. This house, a testament to his success and creativity, stands as a shrine to the life and times of one of America's most influential writers, inviting fans to explore his world. Mark Twain faced unimaginable grief with the deaths of his wife, Olivia, and three of their four children. These personal tragedies deeply affected him, casting long shadows over his later works and life. The loss brought a profound sadness that often reflected in his writing, revealing a more somber side to the humorist. Despite the personal turmoil, Twain's intellectual curiosity never waned. He explored religion with a critical eye, often questioning the tenets of organized faith. His spiritual musings, infused with skepticism, added a rich layer to his literature, inviting readers to ponder the complexities of faith and morality alongside him. Twain's wit and wisdom have found a lasting place in the public consciousness, making him a go-to source for quotes on life's absurdities and injustices. His ability to encapsulate complex ideas with humor and sharp observations has cemented his status as a literary giant, influencing not just literature but public discourse as well. Ernest Hemingway's assertion that all modern American literature stems from Huckleberry Finn underscores Twain's monumental impact on the literary world. This novel, with its pioneering use of vernacular speech and exploration of critical social issues, laid the groundwork for future American storytelling, challenging and inspiring generations of writers. 
An early advocate for forensic science, Twain's interest in fingerprinting as a crime-solving tool highlighted his forward-thinking nature. This fascination with scientific advancements demonstrated his belief in progress and innovation, traits that permeated his work and life, making him a figure of endless curiosity and intellect. Mark Twain's autobiography, held from publication until a century after his demise, surged to bestseller status in 2010. This unprecedented move by Twain ensured that his thoughts and experiences were shared in an era vastly different from his own, offering fresh insights into the mind of America's iconic writer. In his later years, Twain's views on imperialism and human rights took a sharp turn towards criticism and advocacy. His transformation from a mere observer to a staunch critic of imperialist policies and a defender of human rights underscored the depth of his evolving moral and ethical beliefs. Twain was not just a literary figure, he was a voracious learner, constantly engaging with new ideas, books, and studies. This unquenchable thirst for knowledge kept him at the forefront of societal and technological advancements, reflecting in his writings and personal philosophies. His brother, Orion Clemens, served as the first and only secretary of the Nevada Territory, a testament to the Clemens family's involvement in significant historical moments. Mark Twain's connection to pivotal figures and events of his time provided rich material for his writings and speeches. Twain's profound love for the Mississippi River was more than nostalgic, it shaped his worldview and writings. He regarded the river as a powerful, untamable force, symbolizing the inevitable flow of time and the futility of human efforts to control nature. This respect for the Mississippi's might resonated through his works, immortalizing the river in American literature. Mark Twain's financial turmoil is a testament to his remarkable resilience. Despite facing bankruptcy due to poor investments, he refused to let his spirit be beaten. His determination to overcome financial ruin saw him embark on a worldwide lecture tour, a move that not only cleared his debts but also reinstated his financial status. Twain's advocacy for the abolition of slavery and equality for African Americans showcased his progressive views. Using his platform, he spoke vehemently against the injustices of his time, aligning himself with the ideals of equality and freedom. His writings and lectures often reflected his deep commitment to social justice issues. Skepticism towards a benevolent and interventionist God marked Twain's complex relationship with religion. Through his letters and various writings, he expressed doubts about the conventional portrayal of God, engaging his readers in a dialogue about faith, morality, and the human condition. His critical views on religion stirred public and academic debate. Mark Twain's influence on literature and comedy is unparalleled. His unique blend of humor, satire, and social commentary has inspired countless authors and comedians. Twain's legacy lives on through his timeless works, which continue to entertain, educate, and provoke thought among generations of readers and writers alike. Despite achieving critical success, Twain yearned for acceptance into the literary elite of his time. This desire reflects his complex relationship with fame and his craft. Twain's works, celebrated for their insight and wit, showcase a man who, while revered by many, sought validation and acknowledgement from his peers, 